battle falcon fish us a one robot army. He's a jet fighter. That's one. He's a rocket car. That's two. He's a tank. Three. The wheeled wolf. Four. The laser pistol. Five. And a robot. That's six. Six shots, my name. There's never been a Transformer like him. The Transformer. Okay, so first of all, they say that there's no other like him. Um, what about Quick Switch? We just saw Quick Switch. It's like, um, did you you just advertise yourself saying that there's no one like him? Um, what about Quick Switch? Oh, he doesn't exist. Okay, I mean, sure, Quick Switch is much smaller a scale compared to, um, I believe it was Six Shot or something like that. Um, and he has, and, cause I mean, he has six transformations as well. Obviously, uh, six shot, I believe it is. Um, definitely bigger figure overall. Uh, interesting concept, but definitely a uh, larger scale figure. Uh, a lot of the same though in regard to transformations. Uh, though in this case, there is an animal transformation that I believe was not featured in Quick Switch. But um, cool overall, both of them. Um, really cool figures as a whole. Excellent stuff. So yeah. Ferocious motorized Autobot triple changes from space shuttle to bird and lakes and then combines to form Skylakes. Hurricane's attacking Skylakes. The Transformers batteries not included from Hasbro. Okay, so that was <coughs> Skylink. Um, interesting concept. He's a combination of like two different uh, me uh, mechs. Uh, isn't like uh, the dual links, uh, the, the dual figures or whatever, but similar idea in regard to the fact that it's like two different parts that kind of can work separate or they can work together. <coughs> oh, I don't know what's going on. My <coughs> I was eating something. I'm, uh, I probably just chewed on it wrong or whatever. Uh, anyway, um, Cool figure overall, really, really cool stuff. Um, and if you're a big fan of a lot of stuff, you you know that uh, Skylink's an interesting character. They showed uh, Skylink fighting Predacon, which was kind of cool. Uh, interesting concept for, for Skylink, kind of resembles obviously a bird-like figure as well as sort of something that would be in the the realm of a Dinobot. But uh, interesting overall, very, very cool. So yeah. Decepticons as vicious as those monstrous terror guns. Lucky we have the Technobots. Yeah, but those high-tech heroes are in for one horrific battle. The Transformers. Out of monstrous Terracon beasts comes the incredible Abominus to battle the fearless and futuristic Computron. The Transformers. Now collect over 50 Transformers decoys free and specially. All right, so that was the. Uh, Computron and a bottom in this, I believe it was, or a, 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 I forget the name of it. Uh, interesting figure. A bottomist, no, I, I know what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of a bottomist from uh, another YouTuber who's, uh, yeah, no, <laughs> I'm forgetting the name of it. Uh, but there was two different figures shown off there. Uh, there was also the Terracons, which are shown off there. Interesting overall. A lot of these combiner based figures, uh, this is all where it started. Like, this is the time period where, like, combiners. The combiner aspect was big, and that's really where all this stuff was really rooted in, and how like combiner wars really came to be. Because there's so much in regard to what they can do with combiner wars now that um, it really adds to things. So overall, really really cool thing overall. Uh, if you're a big uh, Transformers fan, you know that 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 Computron and all that other stuff, really cool stuff. Um, so yeah, really, really great. Uh, there was also an interesting transformation with a kid like that does a flip and then he transforms, I think, into... At first I thought it was Optimus, but I think it might be Ultra, Ultra Magnus or someone else. Um, really cool, though. So yeah. Two Transformers are here. Now Triggerbots are battling Triggercon. And when the Triggerbots battle the Triggercon, Right, so that 
so that was the trigger cons interesting concept uh just pressing the trigger button allows them to transform into a different mode and uh in some cases if you pull the trigger obviously it will shoot missiles i'm guessing more likely than not didn't really show any of that they showed really a lot of the collisions rather than uh shooting off missiles which is a little surprising but at the same time it kind of makes sense since you know shooting off missiles you're gonna lose them pretty easily compared to just bashing them together you know kids typically at um when they're young especially they're gonna do a lot of bashing so yeah <clears throat> Okay, so that commercial at the end was really cool with the Decepticon base being able to transform into an awesome base, uh, as well as a really cool spaceship, as well as a massive di uh, dinosaur which looks insane and is so big. Like, I mean. I would love that thing, and, and uh, obviously has lots of lights and sounds, really, really cool figure. Uh, I'd be curious to see if they make a newer version of that anytime soon, especially since Devastator, they created a newer version of him very recently, <clears throat> which was a figure that I really wanted um, a while back, but then I realized how expensive he was, especially since he's a Titan-class figure, meaning that he's super, super big, like, I think he's 18 inches tall or something like that, which is insane, if I, if I might add, I mean... Uh, figures that are 18 inches tall, like you, mu like this figure must be big, because you don't see figures that are 18 inches tall. Like usually you see tops like maybe 12 or so, and even that's like huge. But um, maybe, but 18 inches, wow. <laughs> I mean, I mean it's a Titan class, so it makes sense. And really, in reality, it should have been Titan class to begin with. So yeah. So anyway, um, that was about it, guys. There's not much else I can say. Um, we're not done with G1 at all. There's still some. There's still definitely more G1 commercials uh, coming along. Uh, I, I don't think that this is gonna that the G1 stuff is gonna let up anytime soon. Soon, due to the fact that G1 was such a big era, especially for Transformers, obviously. Um, and just in general, really, really cool stuff. Um, there's definitely more to come, and we'll definitely be seeing all that very soon, probably in the next week or so. Uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what kind of things you liked about this. What? Um, tell me if you guys had any of these figures, of course, because I would love to know. And uh, if you want to maybe suggest some figures, or maybe if you want to... Uh, do something along those lines or something else uh please remember to comment below because i'm always up for comments i'm always up for anything and uh thank you guys again for watching and anyway guys uh goodbye